and thought I saw someone outside my house. I just haven't fully woken up yet. There was no one there. So the first thing I try to do every morning is meditate. I'd be lying if I said I did this every morning because I haven't for like the past two weeks. I'm gonna make this video and hopefully it keeps me accountable to like take my morning routine a bit more serious because there's just like so many benefits of like having a good set morning routine and not going on your phone first thing in the morning. Meditation time. Hello and welcome. You can spend a few moments use. So guys, I just finished the most life-changing meditation ever. So this is your sign you should meditate more because it's so good for you and it just like really like brings you back to like who you are, grounds you. So I'm definitely going to make it a non-negotiable thing in 2024 that every morning I try my best to meditate. Actually, this is my journal. She's ugly but she holds a lot if I'm like... I call it my manifestation journal because basically everything I've written in here, it always comes true because I'm actually such a good manifester, but journaling is good to like just let your thoughts out, especially if you have a busy mind like me, like in the mornings my ADHD runs about 50 miles per hour, so yeah that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little brain dump and then I'm going to read a little bit of my book, it's the best book ever. It's called The Neuroscience of Self Love and it's by, I can't pronounce her name, but best book ever. We almost forgot about her. This is my five minute journal. It's basically like a gratitude journal. I like to write in this every morning because gratitude doesn't come easy to everyone. It's like a skill. You have to learn how to reprogram your brain and like find like the best parts of every day because it's so much easier to like go back to default and just like complain, complain, complain about everything in your life if like that's what you're used to. You write um, three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, a daily affirmation, and then at night time before you go to bed, you write your highlights of the day and your reflection. I like to read at least 10 pages of my book every day i'm actually doing 75 hard but like my own little version and if you don't know what 75 hard is it's basically like more of a mental than a physical challenge but like there is physical benefits like eating clean for 75 days 10 pages of a book every day three liters of water um a 15 minute cold shower every single day two workouts so basically i'm doing everything i'm just not like being excessively harsh on myself I never usually take Bella for a walk this early, but I thought, why not? It's a pretty day outside. It's probably like 40 degrees outside. I'm not even joking. But it's always good to like move your body like first thing in the morning. You guys, it's like not even joking, 33 degrees outside. It's so hot, like ridiculously hot. I should have worn sunscreen, but it's fine. I can't tell if my camera's blurry. Oh, I just got back from my walk and it's shower time. I just had my shower. Guys, tomorrow school starts back and I've never been more sad about something in my entire life. But good thing I'm homeschooled. You would have to drag me into an actual high school. It would not happen. Um, I use the La Roche cleanser in the mornings. I actually have two different skincare routines. I have a different one for nighttime, but I just like to use this in the morning. Also guys, my skin is like struggling. Apparently, the like stuff in Starbucks drinks, and you know how much I love coffee and matcha, the stuff in those drinks like makes your skin bad. It's obviously the sugar, but I try and get like sugar-free syrup, but it's probably worse than the actual sugar. Ordinary serum. Then I use this stuff like on any spots I have. It's the La Roche Effaclair Duo. 
Then for moisturizer, I use the Ordinary Moisturizer. Then I use some Bondi Sands eye cream. Usually after my skincare, I'll like clean up a bit if I feel like my bathroom is messy, which it is. You guys, I'm the world's most awful YouTuber in the world. I was supposed to vlog and I got changed and got out and literally just went out and forgot to update you on my morning routine. But yeah, you guys, thanks so much for watching my little morning routine. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is your sign to take your morning routine more seriously because it actually matters way more than you think. Hi, friends. I... Oh. I actually filmed this video that you're watching currently like at the start of January. It is a little outdated but I've just been like really to be honest not feeling that great. I honestly was considering not posting tomorrow and having a break. I say a break I mean like taking one Friday off of uploading but I've just not been feeling that great mentally but that's okay and I just want to remind you that everyone has those days like literally everyone you're not the only one that feels like that like I feel overwhelmed a lot of the time my morning routine is a little different now I feel like I'm a complete different person to the person that I was a month ago and that is crazy I mean look at my skin another thing I forgot to mention is 96% of you are not subscribed and I can see so make sure you like subscribe if you like my videos of course not forcing anyone but if you do love watching my videos and you come back to my channel quite frequently make sure to subscribe because it helps me a lot and it'll help me push my better content out there so Thank you for watching and spending the time out of your day to watch my video, but love you. Please like, subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll put my links on the screen. I love you guys. Bye.